Hey guys, so uh, we're back again and today we're going to solve another random problem. So let's just uh, generate the random number first. We have 629, so we're going to solve problem 629 and um, let's see if we can solve that. It should be on the second page. Uh, 629 does not exist. The closest one is 628, so we will try to solve that one. Maximum product of three numbers. Given an integer array, find three numbers whose product is maximum and output the maximum product. Okay. Um, All right, um, so you're given an array of integers and you want to find three numbers that gives the maximum product. I think the easiest way to do is to um, sort this array and multiply the um, first, uh, the, 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 the last three numbers, but I think it's going to be a bit more problematic if we have negative numbers. Let's see. The length of the given array will be in the range uh, 3 to 10 raised to 4 and all elements are in the range minus 1000 to 1000. So we have a problem if we get negative numbers. Uh, multiplication of any three numbers in the input won't exceed the 32 bit signed integer, so we don't need to worry about uh, overflows. So the reason I'm talking about the negative numbers, uh, let's take let's take uh, let's take this scenario. We have minus five, um, one, two, three, three, um, four. Uh, minus 5 minus 5 okay if you if you take something like this uh, well this is a sorter this is something that you get after sorting this array and if you take 3 times 3 times 4 that's 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 4 is 36 I suppose yeah and uh, is that the best multiplication possible well what if we try two negative numbers um, the negative numbers are minus 5 and minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 5 is basically um, 25. Now, 25 times 4 is 100, so that should be the answer. Um, so, is there a better way to do this? So we can sort the numbers, but we also need to take in take to account the negative values. Uh, that's the whole point of this, right? And uh, mm, so, how do you solve this? Um, If you have two negative numbers, you need to consider them. Well, uh, let's just do one thing. We'll sort the array and we'll take this as a possible value. And if there are, the, f the first two are negative numbers. Let's take that and those two and take the last one. So those are the two choices. So once you sort the array, the choices are this three and if the first two if they are negative and the last one. So you can't have three negative numbers because the three negative numbers are going to give you a negative number. Um, what about the scenario when um, all are negative numbers. Uh, so this is a bit more complicated now. 
let's try minus 5, minus 5, um, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Yeah, okay, that's it. We have all negative numbers, so what's the better value for this? So we'll have minus 5 times minus 5, which will be 25. And 25 times minus 1 would be minus 25. Now, 25 times 25 times minus 2 would be um, minus 50. Minus 3 would be okay. So it will still work like that um, because if you if you multiply the two negative values with the um, with the last one, it will still be the best possible negative value. So I think this will work. So let's just try and sort this. And um, okay, uh, so candidate one, right? So we're going to say call it candidate one, which is basically um, um, nums of. We'll take the value of nums in here. Nums of n minus 1 plus nums of n minus 2 plus nums of n minus 3 so those are the last three numbers and what's candidate 2 now now there is going to be candidate 2 candidate 2 is going to be uh, set to 0 but if nums of 0 less than 0 and and nums of 1 less than 0 then you need to do this then what would we would do is that we'd set the candidate to as nums of 0 times nums of 1 times nums of n minus 1 and then will return math.max of candidate 1, candidate 2. Let's see if this will work. And accept it for the first scenario. Submitting for the, for the scenario and it works. So a pretty basic problem and just need to take care of the fact that the numbers could be negative and you can do this, do it by uh, do it simply, and I was able to do any do this without making any checks because I was pretty sure from the problem that um, you could do this. Uh, you could hard code these things because the value, the length of the array is definitely going to be at least three. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So I'll come back with another video pretty soon, uh, and then see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.